This is another Trojan Horse International production. We go to Baguio City to witness and view the baptisms. We're going to baptise Josephine Ortis and Beth Pollock. She's the wife of our first mission officer that was sent out from New Bidibid Prison to teach the gospel to inmates at the Baguio City Jail, where we'll go later and we'll baptise many men there too. Here are the typical Igorots from the mountain province of Baguio and Josephine wants me to dress like one of these men when we go and preach the gospel to them. But here we are, we're going to go now and let's just have a look at the plaque of remembrance uh, regarding what this means. It's to do with the uh, people of this country, to keep them ethnic groups safe from um, the problems that occur when civilization comes. Right, here we are. Here's Pollock writing out the manuscripts. Go. We're about to go to the baptism. There's William, Josie, his wife. About to go. Right, William, where are we going? Yes? We're now going down in the taxi. Yeah. And here is, here is Josie on the front seat. With Tell us, give us a running commentary, Josie. Tell me all about it. This is your property area? Yeah. Right. Yeah. On the camera. All of this? Yes. Yeah, all of this. Explain. Yeah, she was the one from. I am the founder of this uh, area. This area. You're like a mayor then? Yeah. She sold, uh, she sold this area. Uh, sold most of the last year. Yes. Oh, what a this is the Muslim village. Uh, is it? Oh, we're going to preach there. I, 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 I live in this. Uh, I'm the one who. Some salum. This is a Muslim village. Right. It's rather remarkable. She was, in fact, the first woman in Baguio City to be sentenced to death, and she was three and a half years fighting her case until she was proved innocent. She was set up by these people that tried to get rid of her because she was doing work uh, with the what they call the land and the province and this is what the problem she got into but this is a, a remarkable testimony to the grace of God oh yes as I recall my past few years of my life was full of violence I helped many people but had enemies I became a queen of a, a gang of five and transported drugs and guns between Cebu City and Mactan City and Mandi Ayo a hired killer sought to kill me with a hand grenade outside my parents' home and tried to massacre my family. My mother was killed with my uncle and my seven-month-old niece. I was later shot in the head whilst in the shopping mall of Baguio City. This was due to envy as I was the president of a homeowners association in Baguio City and they wanted to take over. The name of the association is Irizan Homeowners Community Association Incorporated, in short, IHCAL. Here we are, on the way down to the river, to baptise, to dip them in water, as a testimony to the goodness and mercy of God, through the Lord Jesus Christ. And are you coming back today to do what? I came here to baptise. You're being baptised? Yeah. You're right, let's go. Let's go. Again, sorry Josie, when you were young, uh, I was when I was young. Uh, this land is our garden before. Really? Yeah. No, it's very interesting to hear that um, we've got Josephine giving her testimony, being baptised. We've got her testimony. I'd like to show it to you. It's quite a remarkable story. A lovely story, and I'm sure she'd be a great help to those women that are sent to prison in the Philippines. So, well, now here is Josephine Ortis' testimony. Here it is. She says, "A glorious sunshine morning be exploded." To all of us, she exclaims, and may the precious love of Jesus our Saviour be with us. Hallelujah. And there's a picture of Josephine. She says, I'm a sister in Christ and a native of Pingog Sababagon Mountain Province. I'm 46 years old and was born in November 29th, 1955. I live with Sister Neola at her halfway home for former prisoners at God's Grace Ministries. Lot 30, Soriana Compound, Putatan, Montelupa City. What do you think, William? Yeah. Is this a good place? Yeah. Would John the Baptist come here? But next time I will come here. No. <laughs> you see, it's better in the prison, but yeah. this is out in the open as a testimony to the people. But well, we're seeing if we can use this trough as a dipping pool. The baptized ladies. There's Dan Gatton on the top there. 
Is the water clean? Uh, Lucas is seeing if the water will do. Let's have a look. The water here. There it is. Is it cold? Talk in English. Lucas, is it cold? Yeah, I will just get 